Lord, that as these ones have recovered, you will make them recover too in Jesus' name. This particular day begins with prayer here. A Christian clergyman leads a sermon for recovering Ebola patients. The one I used this morning is John 11, where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, even though he has been dead for over three days. Mother of two, Emunatu Kamara, has been listening to the preacher since she was on her sickbed fighting for her life. She's now recovering and able to venture outside, but she's still confined for the moment in an exclusion zone for Ebola patients. When I was ill, I was really scared for my children. They're still at school and no one was taking care of them properly because their father is an old man. So I was afraid when I thought I'd die. But thanks to God, I'm better now. Leading the treatment of the center's 27 patients is a lone junior doctor. 30-year-old Seku Kane. He did have support from two more senior doctors, but one was away on leave. Another was still recovering from the Ebola virus. We were using the same door, because all the time they spent here, I was living there. I will work, I will come in, I go in. This Ebola patient is staying here. Sometimes when I come, I will just say, hey doctor, good evening sir. <laughs> good morning sir. Kane has slept here since the center was set up in September. We don't have the sophisticated equipment. We don't have the, all the things that people think that you need to fight Ebola. But even if we don't have, we improvise. We try to do our best. He had been a newly qualified medic with dreams of becoming a surgeon before Ebola struck. But as the outbreak worsened, he threw himself into treating the virus. Now he's known for his long stints inside the exclusion zone in full protective gear for up to four hours several times a day. Most international aid agencies recommend staying in personal protective equipment for no more than one hour. I never went through a training. I never. I started here when we were called first. I came here. I put on my PPE here, I was supervised. I didn't, up to now, I've never received any formal training. Never, and I'm not going for no training. Health workers at Hastings say the government has failed to pay hazard pay or salaries for most staff for at least two weeks. They have appealed to Sierra Leone's Ebola response officials and 180 workers have signed a letter of complaint. As yet, there's been no reply. Are you guys with me? Yes. Even if they don't pay them, these guys are ready to risk their life for their country. But Kane insists his treatment center is still marching on despite the challenges. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.